Hello again. So we're doing a partial fraction decomposition here and what we're specifically working with is distinct linear factors in terms of that. And we've got this problem where we have 2x to the fourth minus 8x squared plus 5x subtracted by 2 over x cubed minus 4x. And our ultimate goal is to turn this really big fraction into separate fractions. Uh, partial fractions, obviously. It's pretty useful when you get into calculus when you're integrating uh, problems, rational expressions. It's, it's kind of hard for students to buy that in when they're not actually taking that class, though. But it does have its uses. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try this. Now, one thing that you have to know about this before we even start is that when you're doing partial fractions, the degree of the numerator has to be smaller than the degree of the denominator. In this case, that's not the fact. The degree of the numerator is bigger. So what we have to do is we have to do long division in order to get uh, a result that's going to actually make this favorable for partial fraction decomposition. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I've got 2x to the fourth minus 8x squared plus 5x subtracted by 2. I'm going to divide that by x cubed minus 4x using long division. And when I use long division, I like to make sure that every term inside, even if there was no x cubed, is accounted for. Minus 8x squared plus 5x subtracted by 2. It's all divided by x cubed minus 4x. Now when I do that, uh, x cubed times y equals 2x to the fourth. Lots of students have trouble with that. So what I tell them is take this term and divide it by this term, x cubed. And 2x to the fourth divided by x cubed is 2x. Do that in a different color. When we do that, 2x times x cubed is 2x to the fourth. And 2x times negative 4x is negative 8x squared. And we're going to go ahead and change the sign, just like we would on a regular long division problem. And we've got 5x subtracted by 2. Now, x cubed times something doesn't equal 5x, uh, unless we're using negative uh, variables, uh, exponents on variables, which we're not. And that's the whole point. So what we got for an answer is this. 2x, and then we've got you know, plus 5x subtracted by 2 or x cubed minus 4x. What we're going to do is try to figure this out. Now Now it fits into the scheme of what we're doing. The degree of the numerator is smaller than the degree of the denominator, so now we're going to use partial fraction decomposition. We don't have to worry about the 2x, we're perfectly fine. Uh, one last thing I'm going to say before I continue with that, well actually I'll save it because there's no way I can fit everything in 15 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start on the next one. Uh, with that said, I hope that's helpful, but I'm going to continue right after this one. See how it goes. Have a good day for now. Goodbye.